Today's episode of Glenn's Retro Show is brought to you by DNA Dimension Designs, the best custom retro gaming decals in the game, period. Everybody, thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. Today's episode is about well, the first item I backed on Kickstarter, and it arrived yesterday in a nice heavy box. Oh, it's pretty heavy. It's the Replicade Centipede, and uh, well, let's kind of get into the video already. I mean, I've been waiting a while for this, and uh, some people who've been backing it have started to get theirs. And uh, the box itself, when you get it, I mean, it's a really nice looking box. Um, I could definitely say that Replicade uh, were very good at attention to detail and try to make things as nice as they could. And they did keep us backers in the loop. If there's any problems or any progressions or cool things that were coming out with them, they kept us informed, which was really kind of nice. But I really do like the box. I mean, the, the artwork, the, uh, the paper, the gloss on it is really nice. Let's see if we get a little bit of a, a closer shot here. Um, the box is really, really nice. and. Um, you know, if you saw this in a store, um, it definitely would catch your eye. Now, as a uh, early backer of Kickstarter uh, for this uh, Replicate Centipede, uh, I got this for $90. I think it was like $15 shipping. I paid about $105, $106 for it. And um, they included this little coins, I believe, that are going to be in the box. And uh, being a backer, we got a illuminated uh, little keychain, which hopefully will be in the box as well. Now, this is a good size. It's 11.8 inches, inches tall, so it's almost a full foot tall and uh, to give more information on the back see if I can turn around for you guys to kind of see it here I'll try and go up slowly so you can with this high definition camera be able to read what's going on here but I'm sure there'll be plenty of other videos from other youtubers uh, that may have a little more details on on the box uh, I definitely do like the box and I will say something else when this was shipped it was shipped in a, uh, a box a perfectly sized for it from uh, replicate and then that was also boxed in another box with insulation around it. So they took great care to make sure that the items that were shipped out came in. Well, as you can see, the box is really, really good. This is also uh, wrapped in cellophane. So you had a box with foam around it, then another cardboard box, then this. Uh, which is still in cellophane. So it really was wrapped tight. So without further ado, let's stop looking at the box and let's kind of see what came in the box. Okay, one of the first things uh, that I looked for in the box was this little guy right here. I'll get a little closer for you here. Being a uh, backer on Kickstarter, it's actually a little keychain. And uh, it's made out of metal. I mean, it's got a really good weight to it. Um, it looks just like an old coin door. Now I've got a little coin slot there. But the really cool part is you press it and you can see that it actually illuminates. So they did a really nice job. I mean, I always loved Atari. As growing up, that was my company. It wasn't Nintendo. It was, it was Atari. And I love that old logo. I mean, that means a lot to me. And uh, again, this is a really heavy, solid piece of metal. So this is really, really nice. And uh, I really appreciate New Wave uh, making this uh, for us for backing them. And uh, this is really nice. So if you're one of the few people who did back them, look for this inside your box. It'll be hidden in one of the pieces of foam. So be careful 
Uh, you'll probably pick it up and notice the foam is not light. <laughs> this is probably going to be in there. Let's see what else that came in the box. Another cool little item uh, that was in there. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to come from the camera. They actually made little coins. And I'm not sure how well it's coming out. On one side, it does say 25 cents. And the other side just has little R's on it. But it's to scale to the, the game console. Now, you can't actually put them in the coin slot. That would have been awesome if you actually slide these in for it to register to play the game. But they're really just to look at. But again, you could put them on the top. And when I was a kid, you would put quarters on the machine to let you know that, you know, I'm playing three or four more times or someone else put a coin on saying I get the next game. So that's kind of neat that they included that. Another thing they did include was a uh, USB cable. Now, it is a uh, regular USB micro, it's not a USB-C, so you probably have tons of these lying around anyway. But they were very clear in saying they shipped these with the batteries, and there is a battery in these, completely drained. And they said they did that for shipping, uh, going over, you know, in the airlines, there's a big thing with, you know, batteries and stuff. And this is a lithium uh, polymer battery in there. So they recommend when you first get it to charge it for five minutes. I charged it for the entire time. It took about an hour to go from zero up to a fully charged unit. But just make sure you do charge first, otherwise you're gonna turn it on and it's, it's not gonna turn on. So they did include this cable. And uh, the last thing in the box, aside from the console, was a very nice manual. And just like the unit itself, there was good, uh, very good detail. First of all, the paper and stock are really, really nice. And the uh, artwork inside, it just looks nice. It remind, does remind me of the old uh, gaming uh, manuals you got uh, back in the day. Good detail. A lot of times today, uh, like from uh, My Arcade, The Bridge Direct, you get a manual with really no information in it. Or it's just a piece of paper you unfold 50 times and it's a big, huge piece of paper with I don't care for that. This, I appreciate. So, a new wave, thank you for giving me an actual manual that's not only a manual, but actually has a lot of good information inside here. And um, they do have it in, in multiple languages, but it gives you all the important information you need uh, right here that you, not only uh, setting the game up, but how to play it if you've never played it before. So without further ado, let's take a look at the actual Centipede console. Okay, so this is it right here. You can see the size of it right here. Now, what's also neat about it is uh, a lot of times you buy things like this today that are all made out of plastic. Uh, this is actually made out of wood. And there's one issue with this one, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but looking at it uh, initially, um, it really does look like, again, New Wave Toys spent a lot of time in making sure all these details and your experience, hence my experience with this, was as good as it could be. The artwork on the side is really, really nice. It's uh, very nicely done. It's good paper stock. It's got just enough uh, gloss on it to look like uh, original. Um, the front here, this part feels plastic. I'm not sure if it is. I definitely know the sides are wood. There's no doubt about that. Now what's neat is the coin door here. Now the coin door here is actually metal. And they were very specific to let you know that that was the case because you can actually, I don't want to drop this thing while I open it, it does open up and they gave us a little spot here to store money, whatever you wanted to put it in there. But it's kind of really nice that they gave, again, a working coin door. And it does light up and actually not only do these two uh, light up, but they're buttons, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, those coins, again, would be a perfect size for here, but they don't actually go inside the slots. That would have been really, really neat if it did. And you could press it to come, come out, maybe in a future version. Uh, probably not in their Tempest coming out, but who knows what's coming down the line. But there's also a very nice Atari logo right on there. And it says uh, one coin, one play. God, that was in the 80s. Isn't that anymore for sure. And then you come up here to the, the, uh, the controller here. And the stock here of this label is really, really nice. And the two volcano buttons here, if you're one and two player. Uh, you find that on Asteroids and Centipede and a lot of the early uh, Atari games. Uh, the one button on here. The trackball, which you know, everyone really wants to know a lot about. And then there's the, the marquee or the, uh, the uh, screen overlay here. And uh, it's covered, obviously, with cellophane. We'll take it off in a little bit. But it says right on here, if you can see it real close, they tell you to please charge it before you use it. So just do that. And then we have the, the marquee up here. And what's nice about this guy here, it does light up and it looks phenomenal when it's lit up. So we'll just turn to the other side here. And we can see, again, the artwork on the other side is just as good as the first. Uh, it's a really nice, you know, designed after the arcade unit. So 
when you went to the arcades, obviously this is smaller, but this is what the machine looked like. It's really, really good detail they put in here. Now on the back, we'll start at the top up here. We have a volume control knob, a charge indicator light, and the power on and off. Now I haven't opened this guy yet. Uh, we know I'm probably going to, but I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I can almost guarantee it's some type of Android based or a single system chip uh, emulator board. But uh, again, I haven't opened this up yet, so I can't say for sure. And then back here, we see it's, you know, it's past quality. There's a screw under here. And then down here, there is a, another little check here for quality control. And I'm going to get into that a little bit because whoever this guy was, he didn't check this one too well. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and again, the speaker's back here. And they made a nice lock on here mechanism that you would have had back in the day. People used to try and break into these machines. They put these special locks on here. So again, really nice attention to detail. And then my decal right here from Replicate will get a little, uh, it's always hard getting my camera shot in there. There we go. Uh, and basically it just tells you that, um, you know, the item number, centipede upright, the, the backer edition. Uh, I, don't, I think it was only 14 or 1500 they made, I don't know. But um, this is definitely thanking me for being a backer and I appreciate that. And then all the way at the bottom here is a little charge uh, indicator for a little micro uh, charging port right here. And on the bottom, we have four rubber feet. Now, there is a rechargeable battery in here, and I'm pretty sure the rechargeable battery is under this, so I think you have to remove these four feet here. Uh, and this is plastic, and there should be screws under here, and that's where your battery is gonna be. And on, just basically has a uh, little New Wave Toys logo down there, Replicate. And you know, overall, just when I would turn this thing on, this would look great just sitting on your desk as it is. Now, I've already charged this thing up, so I don't need to plug it in right now. But uh, let's get this in a better spot and power this thing on and take a better look at it. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here's our unit here. We're gonna hit the power switch on the top. And I think we have to hold it for a few seconds for it to turn on. And there it goes. You can see our one and two player volcano lights have lit up. Our two coin doors are, are actually slots have lit up and our marquee has lit up here. Now this one here is going to be your coin insertion. This one gets into a special menu where you can change some options. Now we're going to take this, this thing off here so you can kind of see the screen a little bit better. These things never want to come off me, did they? Oh, look, I got it. Yeah. Oh, look at, oh yeah, there you go. So we'll save that for, uh, for prosperity. I always seem to do that. But let's see if we can get, uh, I think I have a little, there we go. It looks a little bit better that way. Um, so we'll just get a quick turn of this and we'll get a better shot of the screen a little bit later. But you can see the, the volcano lights lit up right here. Let me move this a little bit closer so you can kind of see that. There you go. So that's really nice. That's a, I really like that. One and two player right here. Our two coin slots lit up. That's going to be our actual putting in coins. This will be a special menu. Take a look at that screen. That's a very nice looking screen. Uh, not, no lines. It's very crisp. That's really good. And that marquee just looks looks really really good now you can actually in the options you could turn this off there's a couple things you can do you can change how sensitive the trackball is but again uh, they designed this to be on like this all the time plugged in or not so that's something just sitting on yourself this looks great all right let's um put a coin in make sure the volume ups too i don't know if the volume's up or down right now so we're gonna put a coin in put a couple there Hit the one player, turn the volume up. Oh, the trackball, I'm gonna tell you right now, they had some issues, and I guess the beginning, and that's kind of what held this up a little bit. They wanted to make sure the trackball felt right, and I'm gonna tell you right now, the trackball really does feel nice. It's very responsive, although I still got killed. But the trackball, the weight of the ball feels nice. It doesn't feel plasticky. I don't know what they made it out of. Uh, maybe it's acrylic. But the ball itself has a nice weight. Uh, in the olden days, when you took a trackball and you really spun it, it kind of kept going. This feels like it has that potential. But that works really, really well. It feels like whatever direction I want it to go to, it's going to go to. So that's the most important part of playing Centipede. 
Now I want to stop here just for one second, so we'll get better shots of this as well. I'm going to hit the secondary button right here. And you can see it pulls up a menu. Let's see if we can zoom in there a little bit. So you can see we have an option for backlight, the marquee light we can turn on and off, and the trackball speed. So if I really wanted to, I can take, I think it's the, uh, is it the trackball or the buttons, I'm not sure. Okay, it's the button. You press the button here, and then you can adjust your backlight. I assume with the trackball, is it with the button? So it's the button. So it's, that's higher, and that's lower. We'll put it back in the middle. So that's kind of nice. You can adjust the backlight. Now if you go back here, is it down with the buttons? It's one of these buttons that'll do it. There we go. The marquee, we could turn it on and off. It is now off. Although I don't know why you'd want it off. It looks too good with it on. And trackball sensitivity. Well, now with uh, New Wave was saying that medium should mimic the best of the uh, arcade feel. And uh, low is you feel like it's, it's not, if it's too sensitive. Or high, I found it more sensitive. I, I thought it was pretty good at the medium. I don't know if I want to turn it up any more than that. So let's go down to close here. And we'll get out of our, our menu here. Let's go all the way down and close and get out. So the button here, the little fire button, feels great as well. The pressure you have to put down on the button feels like, well, like it should. And obviously this is the arcade ROM that was officially licensed from Atari. So this is not emulated in the sense of being a recreation. It is emulated, uh, but it is emulating the actual arcade ROM set. So I am actually playing Centipede. Now, whether they're using a MAME emulator or something else, I can't say. But it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely pretty fun. I'm definitely enjoying it. And I really like the detail that they did put into the game. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. And try this again. You know, ah, get rid of that guy. Oh, nailed again. Now, another cool thing about this, now that I'm, I've am i died, um, I did not get a high score this time. But a cool thing about this is the high scores will be saved. So even if the battery dies in this thing that sits for a year or two, the memory will be saved. So whatever high score you have on here, unlike um, uh, George Costanza with Frogger. I can do this. On yourself, Jerry? I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. You don't have to worry about it. Your high score is going to save. Again, that's something the original arcade would not have done, but it's pretty cool that New Wave has that in here. So New Wave Toys did out what they set out to do when they went on Kickstarter. They built a really nice 1 6 scale version of Centipede. And to be honest, they really did do a nice job. The, the attention to detail these guys put in here is great. Um, they were very informative to us as well. Any delays, anything they were changing, they let us know. They didn't keep us in the dark. And uh, there was a few delays even coming over to the States uh, with uh, customs. These got held up in customs. Um, and they told us about it. So a new wave. Uh, I'm really happy with them, and I also backed their Tempest, so I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Um, so again, the, the detail work, these guys are artists. I mean, they did a really beautiful job on it. Now, what I'm going to talk about next has nothing to do with that aspect of this unit. Um, the units are built in China, and uh, they have a quality control system. That's kind of where I'm going to go with next. Overall, the system is really, really nice. Now, some of this is built out of wood, and wood can break. Now, when this was shipped, it was very well packed. So now what I'm going to show you right now did not happen during shipping. This would happen during the build process and it got right past them in quality control or they had to get these out so quick they didn't really care, they didn't think it would be a big deal. But Glenn's Retro Show got this one, so I'm going to be honest with you guys, something that is bothering me about it. Now, you wouldn't really tell for the most part on all the sides, but I check everything. And when I go on the bottom right here, these sides of wood and there's a split, a crack in this wood that has caused the decal to be already dislodged. And I'm not sure, I took a picture, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. I don't know if you can see it on here right now. Go over to the camera as best I can. But 
if you can see it here, the decal is lifted because the wood is actually split up here. So this decal at some point, whether it's two weeks or two years, is going to keep coming off and coming off. It's going to tear. Now again, maybe that look more nostalgia with real centipedes with the decals coming off. But it's something that really should have been caught in their quality control process. I mean, they did a nice job with everything else. It's, and these are not cheap. I mean, to be honest, as you know, if you were a uh, subscriber to my channel, or if you knew, I'll tell you right now, you know, I build these as well. Um, they are not easy. Some people say I could do it for cheaper, 100 bucks, 160 bucks. I could do it for $5 and, and a pair of tweezers. Good luck. Um, these parts alone will probably cost you close to that. And then it's time to build the, the case. So for the amount they're doing it for, it's really a really good deal. But I do wish that quality or control would have checked that and made sure these units went out like everyone should get them as perfect as they can be. Now I've messaged uh, New Wave uh, toys a few times. They're always very responsive. And I actually emailed, uh, emailed them yesterday with a few photographs showing them this. I have not heard back from them yet. I do hope they respond to let me know um, or something. Whether, you know, sign our Glenn, you know, it is what it is, or we'll see if we can fix that for you. I don't know if they can or if they're going to offer that, but I do hope at least hear back from them one way or the other. And of course, I'll let you guys all know. Just getting back from Atari Party East. Had a great time. Built through a great party out there. Very great food. A lot of great people. And a lot of good games on the old Atari console. It was really good uh, to see some of those games I haven't played in a while. But when I was out there, uh, Bill also got a replicate uh, New Wave Toys centipede. Did an unboxing of it there. And actually, while I was in the process of doing that, I actually received an email from New Wave Toys. Uh, I sent them an email about the issues that I was having with the... Uh, the console and the decals on the side and some QI issues and they apologize for it saying that they are going to send out another unit uh, they're personally going to inspect the one they're going to send out to me make sure it's okay uh, but I'm going to send mine back to them so they can review it and make sure that their quality process is there to make sure all these things are checked so that's a huge thing I mean, New Wave Toys is a new company it was a Kickstarter product so seeing how they treat their customers is a big deal and it's very obvious that not only were they very stringent on the quality and the, the details they put into the machine itself, they also make sure that the experience after the purchase is still good. So I really take my hat off to New Web Toys and I appreciate them stepping up and make sure that product is first rate and it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. So when I get my new one in, uh, I'll do an unboxing of that one and inspect it. And of course, I'm going to send this one back to them so they can check it over and make sure their quality steps are a little more uh, stringent, I guess, to make sure the product comes out perfect. So New Wave Toys, thank you very much for stepping up and making sure your product is top notch. It's great now and I can't wait to get the new one to make sure it's perfect. Thank you very much. But the ultimate question is, would I recommend it? Again, it's not cheap. I mean, I know I got this for $90 as a Kickstarter. I think they're going to be at Best Buy for about $160. And at that point, it just depends how much you like these units and Centipede. I mean, I'm very happy with it. And would I pay $160 for it? You know, I, I might. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's really, really nice. It's going to look really good uh, next to my other consoles I, I have over here. Um, I think they put some good blood, sweat, and tears into building these, and they deserve to be compensated for that. So, uh, if you still see this at Best Buy, I I might just go grab another one. I don't know. But as to all of you guys out there, always you know take a look for yourself. But if you're at all watching this video, most likely you're interested in this. And I don't think you'd be disappointed in getting it. That trackball, they put a lot of time and effort into it, and it really does work very well. The uh, volcano buttons right here look great. The button works great. I mean, it's really, really nice. That screen, that screen is beautiful. So, is it hackable? Maybe that'll be another episode. But for right now, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I uh, hope you do get one of these replicates. They are kind of nice. Uh, if you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment down below. I always read them and I usually respond. So for right now, everyone, thanks for watching. Game on.
Tiny Arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog. Oh!